onto our second Dunlop Sport Max production cup race. And coming up to line up on the pole position is number 14. That is Adrian Churchill, the ex Super Coupe racer from a couple of seasons ago. Lining up alongside him on the outside of the front row of the grid, it's the 21 year old Frenchman, Jordan Cresson, at the wheel of one of the PlayStation GT Academy cars we have in the field. His teammate, which is the Italian driver Luca Lorenzini, lines up on the inside of the second row of the grid alongside the blue Vauxhall Astra VXR in the hands of Ryan Bensley. So they're about to get underway. Adrian Churchill and Jordan Tresson on the front row of the grid. A little bit of creeping, a longish hold for them as well, but a good start from Luca Lorenzini in the black Nissan from the second row of the grid. He's trying to squeeze his way through between the two front row starters. We're on board with Ryan Bensley, who has lost a position to Dan Malone, who's managed to squeeze the Seat Leon from fifth on the grid up to third as they approach the braking area for Dean Corner for the first time. It's Luca Lorenzini who leads going in towards the corner. Looks as though he might just run a little bit wide on the exit. There go the Class B cars as well, the slightly less powerful cars between 130 and 160 brake horsepower per tonne for those. But Luca Lorenzini it is that leads from Adrian Churchill. Everybody queuing up to be third at the moment as they feed their way through Chapman Curve, and Churchill's there, he's in the lead, Luca Lorenzini sitting there in second place with Dan Malone in third place, and Alex Ashby has come up well and truly through the field. He's in fourth position from seventh on the grid in the Thorny Motorsport Astra VXR, the black car with its green wing mirrors. We ride on board with Craig Curry, the ex-motorcycle racer, as he feeds his way out of Graceland's corner. It's Jordan Tress on the Frenchman directly ahead of us. Onto the brakes they go and through the right-hander at Tarzan. Jordan Tresson down in sixth place currently. He's having a nibble, though, at Ryan Bensley as they come down the school straight. The Astra slightly slower in a straight line, but much, much better on the brakes, and therefore the positions remain exactly as they were. Jordan Tresson ahead of Craig Curry. Onto the bank section of the circuit they go. There goes Ryan Bensley with Jordan Tresson and Craig Curry, car number 23, in hot pursuit. The Nissan 370Z sounding absolutely glorious. Back onto the brakes once more. And as they turn once more into the infield, it looks as though it is Andre Magui that leads Class B currently. The man from Siktivka in Russia. Out of Yetwood, up the slight crest and in towards Chapman Curve. With Dan Malone starting to come under a bit of pressure from the two Astra VXRs behind him. The first of which is Alex Ashby, who runs a little bit wide almost there, coming through Piff Path Corner. It might allow Ryan Bensley to close on him. However, Ryan Bensley has got Jordan Tress on, really looking to try and pull a move on him as they come once more through the left-hander at Graceland's corner. Number seven, Ryan Bensley, the 2008 Stock Hatch champion, the 2009 Stock Hatch runner-up, stepping up to the Dunlop Sport Max Production Cup this year. All over the grass in the background is the car of Jordan Witt, the BMW 120 diesel, one of two one-series diesels we have in the field. The other one is the blue car directly behind him, the former mini racer, Keith Isert. But it's all getting very, very close still. Ryan Bensley is having to fend off both Nissans. Jordan Tresson, the Frenchman, who's studying an uh, automobile master's degree at the moment. He sits there directly behind the Astra VXR. Craig Curry, the former motorcycle racer, sitting behind him in the wheel tracks, all three of them are. Through turn one once more. With Adrian Churchill all of the time in the lead of the race and starting to increase his margin. Ryan Bensley going well at the moment, fending off the attentions of Jordan Tresson. And it looks so he locks a brake, runs a little bit wide as well at Dean Corner. He's going to lose at least a couple of places. He keeps the car uh, out of the tyres. At least that's one thing he'll be thankful for. But two places lost there. The two Nissans now ahead of him. Of course, all of the cars running on road tyres, the Dunlop Sport Max tyre. And of course, we've got the powerful front wheel drive cars that need to put the power down and have the steering input compared to the rear-wheel drive cars. It might all be to do with saving tyres as Alex Ashby really has a good look at the Seat Leon in the hands of Dan Malone. Dan Malone stepping up from a Class C Peugeot last year into the Class A and Championship winning car in Class A this year. 
as they all come out of Gracelands once more. Dan Malone is having to watch his mirrors. He's got the Thorny Motorsport run car of Alex Ashby, who we did see out towards the latter stages of last season in the Dunlop Sport Max Production Cup. He is there in fourth position at the moment with Jordan Thress on in fifth place, who's now pulled away and got daylight between himself and Craig Curry as they feed their way back up onto the circuit once more. The front-wheel drive Astra, the front-wheel drive Seat Leon, the rear-wheel drive Nissan, the Nissan a slightly heavier car, but it's very, very powerful in a straight line. And, of course, rocking in one of those circuits where the tyres are always working. And here comes our race leader, Adrian Churchill. Luca Lorenzini, if anything, just starting to reel him in now. Then, all of a sudden, off the road goes the car of Dan Malone as did Ryan Bensley a lap or so earlier. Just breaks that a little bit too late for the left-hand hairpin at Dean Corner. As we ride now on board with Ryan Bensley, all of a sudden he can see the Seat Leon of the recovering Dan Malone directly ahead of him. You can see just how hard the cars and the drivers are having to work around this infield section here at Rockingham. Lots and lots of corners, a few slightly shorter straights, and the result of that is that it's a very busy lap. Well, let's have a look at what happened to Ryan Bensley on the lap prior. If you recall, he comes up towards the braking area, 14 corner. We can hear the squeal of the tyres all over the grass. Thankfully, incident averted onto the circuit once more, but however, two positions lost. Well, here comes Alex Ashby in the Vauxhall Astra VXR, still under this pressure from Jordan Thresson as Dan Malone equally as much is coming under pressure now from Ryan Bensley. Ryan Bensley leaping over the kerbs on the exit of Piff Path, down the steel straight and up towards Graceland's corner. Dan Malone missing the apex as well, running a little bit wide if he's not careful on the exit. And Ryan Bensley here may have an opportunity to try and steal a place away. Up towards Tarzan they go. And can Ryan Bensley get the Astra up the inside? It looks as though he can. He just about squeezes his way through. Another position gained there for Ryan Bensley. Dan Malone all of a sudden losing positions hand over fist. This is the battle for third and fourth position. Alex Ashby still in third place. Jordan Tresson down in fourth position. As they come back up onto the oval section of the circuit once more at turn four. Ryan Bensley now. There in fifth position with Dan Malone behind him. He completes the top sixth currently with Craig Curry in the second of the two yellow Nissans we have in the field. He's in seventh place. But Alex Ashby is going to have to keep his lines very neat and tidy as we approach the last few laps of this one because he's coming under an ever-increasing amount of pressure from the PlayStation GT Academy racer, Jordan Tresson. So far this weekend, both Jordan Tresson and Luca Lorenzini, both of the PlayStation GT Academy cars, have been very impressive. Out onto the far reaches of the circuit once more they go, as Keith Isett, the ex-mini racer in the Matt James Racing Prepared 120 Diesel, makes his way through and onto the infield section once more. Over the grass by the look of things for Craig Curry, he gathers up the moment. Jordan Tresson still applying the pressure to Alex Ashby. Say Jordan Tresson in the GT Academy car. At 1.2 million people entered the competition online. The fastest driver from each of the 14 participating countries went to Silverstone and were judged by the likes of Eddie Jordan and Johnny Herbert, but to name a few. And it was Jordan Tresson and Luca Lorenzini that have potentially gained the chance to race a GT4 Nissan in the European GT4 Championship. We look back at Craig Curry running wide at Grayson's Corner a couple of laps ago. Off camber on the exit at Grayson's Corner. Catches out Craig Curry all over the grass, gathers up the moment, but falls into the clutches of Ryan Bensley, who is now not that far away. Those two right out at Piff Path Corner, the far stretches of the circuit. And Bensley trying to key up a move here to wrestle the position away and get himself up inside the top five. Through Graceland's corner they come. Craig Curry a little more circumspect with his approach to the corner this time. Up towards the braking area for Tarzan. We can see Timothy Saunders' Ford Focus just parked there on the left-hand side. He retired a lap or so ago. And Ryan Bensley has teed up the move well here. A wider line in gives him a tighter line out. They'll run side by side down the school straight. The Astra that little bit better on the brakes. Let's see whether he can hang on to it around the outside here as they are about to approach the final couple of corners of the lap. 
Well, for the moment, Craig Curry still has the position. He's still there in fifth place with Ryan Bensley still trying to improve from his current sixth position. Dan Malone in the Seat Leon, the quick starting Seat Leon, now down in seventh place. Over the start finish line, another lap ticked off of the 1.94 mile international sports car circuit here at Rockingham through turn one. There is Alex Ashby, who is under pressure from a very sideways. Jordan Thress on the Frenchman just about hangs on to the Nissan. It was a very late look up the inside. The tail of the car tried to break away. Good car control, but it's still Alex Ashby that resides in third position. Jordan Thress on, despite the attempts, is there in fourth place. There's Ryan Bensley from Craig Curry. And if anything now, Dan Malone starting to catch those two. We ride on board with Craig Curry. The blue Astra VXR of Ryan Bensley directly ahead of us. Both of them working very, very hard. They feed their way back onto the steel straight once more. We ride on board with Ryan Bensley. Let's have a look at the replay of Jordan Tresson going off just as they approach the braking area for Dean Corden. Tresson just carries in a little bit too much speed, runs wide and allows Ryan Bensley to go through and take the position. Here is our Class B leader once more, Andre McGee in the... Class B Mini, Class B catering for those cars with between 130 and 160 brake horsepower per tonne. And he's shown a clean pair of heels to the chasing BMW 1 Series diesel of Jordan Witt. We can see Jordan Witt just that little bit further behind. But for the moment, it's the Mini that leads the class. Well, Alex Ashby has very much been caught by the recovering Jordan Cresson towards the end of this particular lap. And Ashby is still there in third place at the moment. Jordan Cresson wants to try and grab the position if he can. Over the start finish line they'll come. They're heading on to their final lap of the race. Through and over the start finish line they go. And it looks so Jordan Cresson, the Frenchman's up the inside as they head round through turn one. He's grabbed third place away, but we know that the Nissan isn't quite as good on the brakes as they come off the bank section of the oval. And it might just allow Alex Axby to try and draw alongside him and retake the position again. They turn now onto the infield corner and it looks so Cresson has just about done enough. Out of Dean and down the straight towards Yentwood corner with Alex Ashby just showing the nose of the Astra once more but Thresson is through up towards Chapman curve Ryan Bensley sitting behind these two, he's got the grandstand seat of the squabble ahead through Piff Path corner and certainly for the moment it looks as though our race leader, Adrian Churchill, looking fairly untroubled, albeit he has been caught in the closing stages of this one by Luca Lorenzini. Down the school straight they come. The Italian driver in the second of the two PlayStation GT Academy cars we've got in the field. Doesn't look as though he's quite going to have enough legs to catch Adrian Churchill. Adrian Churchill won the first race of the day. It looks as though he's heading to victory in the second of our Dunlop Sport Max Production Cup races here at Rockingham today. He comes through and takes the honours, chased all of the way by Luca Lorenzini. And who is going to finish in fourth position because Alex Ashby has been caught in the Thorny Motorsport car by Ryan Bensley. The Black Astra is still ahead of the blue one as they charge out and over the start finish line. Jordan Press on ahead of them on the road will finish in third place. It looks as though it is going to be Alex Ashby only just ahead of the hard chasing Ryan Bensley with Craig Curry just nipping sixth on the line. So Adrian Churchill takes the honours. Luca Lorenzini finishes in second and Jordan Tresson completes the top three. So our two podium class winners, Adrian Churchill and Andre Magui. Adrian, congratulations. A perfect way to start the season. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we've uh, spent a lot of time on the car and um, Courtney Sport have got the car going very well. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. You know, it's um, you know probably time because we had a learning season last year to perhaps take advantage of the cars that are sort of just starting off this year, you know, get the points and put them in the bag and, you know, then um, battle perhaps a bit later on in the season, you know. We've just built the car, it's brand new, so um, it's first outing. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm perfectly happy with it, so maybe it was, there's more to find, but so far I can't complain really, you know, two races, two wins, so that's, that's perfect.